tensions on college campuses across the country over the Israeli Hamas war have boiled over. Now universities are suspending students, canceling classes and calling for support from law enforcement. Even Congress is weighing in. Bree Jackson joins us from Washington this morning and Bree lawmakers are now taking action. Good morning. That's right. Good morning, Diana. So with bipartisan support, the House passed a bill to expand the definition of anti-Semitism for the Education Department to enforce. Some lawmakers raised concerns that the broad definition would threaten free speech on college campuses. Now the bill's prospects in the Senate remain unclear. As nationwide protests continue, colleges and universities grapple with how to handle growing tensions over the war in Gaza. House Republicans got a first-hand look at an encampment at George Washington University Wednesday. We're seeing these protests spring up all across the United States. We're hearing from Jewish students that they don't feel safe. Across the country, there are concerns about outside agitators interfering with peaceful demonstrations. I noticed some of them were students. Their faces did look familiar. and. There were certainly people there who were not students. They almost seemed like professional burglars, which made it even more scary because they don't have anything to lose. The Biden administration says it supports lawful protest and condemns hateful speech. We are also going to call out any type of anti-Semitism that we are hearing, that we are seeing, the hate. Pro-Palestinian protesters are standing firm. We plan to be here until our demands are met, no matter what. Domestic and foreign policy challenges taking center stage on campuses and on Capitol Hill. And in response to the pro-Palestinian protests, Republicans are also seeking to launch investigations into anti-Semitism on college campuses. Diana. All right, Bree Jackson, live in Washington, D.C. this morning. Bree, thank you.